Come on, Pete, pay attention. Head in the bloody clouds again. That's your problem. Pick up the oars and row like I told you. How faster than that, son. I'm keeping both in time. Doing my best. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. And try and keep your weight in the middle, too. You don't want to tip us in. What a wonderful start of the holiday that would be. Do you want to help? No, this is a test of your listening, son. I'm trying to work things out for yourself. How would you learn if I did everything for you, eh? I didn't mean do it all, just take an oar, maybe. Well, say I did, and you could only work one oar. Then where would we be? We'd be going round in circles. <laughs> oh, now, look, there's a strong current coming up. It's a good test, son. Now, remember what I taught you, and this won't be a problem. I keep us straight and true. Strong arms. I said strong. No, 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 no! I'm trying. That side! Harder on the poor side! Help! Jesus, Pete, that one! Oh, come on! Give it here! Give it here! God, you get back there, I'll do it! I knew you weren't made for this! Maybe you're right. Come on. And prove you can go the rest of the way. The current's not as strong now. Now here you go. I have done my best, Pete. Whatever you do in life, you can't expect anyone to do things for you. My experience. I won't always be here to help. And there'll come a time when you've got to prove you can do something by yourself. Captain Hamilton? Oh, get me away from this thing. It looks calm out there, but it, it's rougher than you think. Oh, it does look nice and calm, you're right. It's the current. Can't you see it? It's very nasty ripples. It's practically a storm surge. I think if the wind had been in another direction... Oh, I'd... come here. Don't you know me at all by now? Come on, let's walk. All right. Thank you. Well, I've got used to being this relaxed. <laughs> What's it going to be like getting back to college, having to smarten ourselves up? I really like you like this. It's nice. Remember when we met on that train and you were so self-conscious about your shoes? Oh, I remember. It seems silly now, eh? I remember you struggling with the suitcase. So, do you want the good news? Absolutely. While you're out, I checked with the hotel and they said we could stay another night. And I thought, why not extend this holiday as long as we can? <laughs> extend the celebration. Celebration? Oh, you know, um, the summer of work. In fact, that it's practically all done now. And perhaps we could celebrate us, too. Us? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Absolutely Hamilton. Oh, stop it. I don't say it like that. You do, and 
That's fine. Ready to go home soon? Not in the slightest. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> oh, look at these houses. Oh, if I had found someone I could row with, perhaps I could be living here. Hey, I can row. <laughs> well, that's good, because I think I might be in love. <laughs> Me too. Oh, those two houses up on the cliff, look. Oh, which one should we have, the red or the blue? It's tricky. Why not both? Oh, go on, pick one. Um, okay, blue. My choice, exactly. Oh, almost like I knew what you were going to say. Well, either house looks big enough for me. Maybe more than me one day. Family. Well, like I said, one day. What about your work? Wouldn't you want to finish that first? Well, finish work before I settle down, you mean? Yes. Yeah, I love my work. You know I do. I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to keep going as long as I can. I don't see why it has to be one or the other. Would you give up work to have children? I would. I really would. No, well, I think... I think the thing is, I wouldn't expect a man to give it all up. Not if he really loved his work. So why does the rest of the world think that we should give it all up? I keep thinking about all these bright young women I'm teaching and I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared that despite all they've achieved, despite the fact that they're walking out into the world with a degree from Cambridge, the first thing they'll be asked is how fast can you type? Don't be so pessimistic. It's not pessimism, I see it. Even the jobs they get, they're not expected to keep once they've had children. All it needs is people to stand up to it. Well, Molly was taking a stand. Do you think that changed anything? Not a woman this time. Women have been making a stand, throwing themselves under horses since the suffragettes. We need men to start fighting for it. You can count on me. I hope you do make a stand won't become part of all that. It's not easy, you know. A lot of people are still living in the dark ages about all this. Your professor, for one, I'll bet. I think you're probably right there. He doesn't know about any of this, does he? This? This, this work? Exactly. The work we've done. You will tell him, won't you? Of course I will. I'll go straight to his office as soon as we're back. You promised me that. Promise you that. Good. Happy? Happy. <laughs> you? Very. Peter, marvellous to see you do come in. Take a seat. I have to say, I'm delighted. Delighted? Well, that's, that's wonderful to hear. I must say it's very impressive. Very kind of you. Not at all. It's your work. I think the direction you took it gave it something of real value. Well, as I say, quite apart from the climate side of things, the method you developed to track radiation, I can see it having far-reaching implications and not just in your own field. It's marvellous. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, First-rate piece of work, Peter. First-rate. Th this other name on here, Dr. Clara McKeary. I presume we can drop that. 
Clara was responsible for half the work, Professor. I couldn't. Oh, well, um, I understand you probably had some little research assistants, but uh, well, we all have secretaries. <laughs> we, we just don't usually put the name on the front cover of the paper. Yeah, Clara did more than a, a little research, really. Hmm. Well, well, I see. Tell me, have you seen your friend Joseph recently, Samuel? I have. Doing so well in their new positions. I would dearly love to see the same for you, Peter. And more for you, in fact. Well, thank you. You will be so well deserved after all these years, especially after the risk I took. Risk? A boy from a grammar school, first in his family to make it to university, you know what I'm saying. It's been really wonderful to give you this opportunity. I would just hate you to throw it away by misattributing your own hard work. That's all, for whatever reasons you might have. Throwing it away? What do you mean? I mean, there is a world of possibility out there for you. Hmm. Well, as I say, it really is very good, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. You've given it to someone else already. I knew a few who I thought might be interested. I thought you'd be pleased. In fact, I think you might want to prepare yourself for being the center of attention for a little while. I'm sure you would be able to cope, but I think it's perhaps not quite the sort of thing you'd like to foist on a young woman's shoulders. Whatever it is, I'm sure Clara could have. With this name on here, there is a good chance it will cause problems. I'm sure I could handle them. <laughs> this isn't all about you, I'm afraid. There could be problems for everyone. Clara was close with Molly Shannon, wasn't she? The one suspected of being a communist spy. She was, I believe. How close they were is the real question. Clara joined Molly on that anti-British protest march, I hear. It was anti-nuclear defence, not anti-British, I believe. Well, you know my thoughts on that. They can be one and the same thing. A lot of people, very important people, believe you are either with this country or against it. Some of the benefactors of this college, for example. My father... <laughs> He used to call this university one of the greatest contributions Britain has made to the world. I would agree with that. Wouldn't you? One of the greatest? Really? Well, it, it does some great work. It does? I'd hate to be the one to undermine it. The affair with this Cambridge Four business has been bad enough. <laughs> we can't change the past, Peter. And we can learn from it before we fool ourselves into remembering it too kindly. Now, with this name on here, and the associations one might make, you see what I'm saying? If you met Clara, I'm, I'm sure you'd agree her name should be on the paper. Oh, good God, Peter, I am trying to make you understand something. <laughs> this is precisely... The way the rot sets in. It's the slow knife. <sighs> Members of this university were recruited to spy for the Soviet Union ten years ago. Now, members of this university are demanding we lay down our weapons. The only defense we have against the very same foreign power. What happens in ten years' time? And what happens to the integrity of this college in ten years? if you share your work on a whim with a girl you've taken a fancy to. And what happens ten years after that? <sighs> one cannot survive by making oneself vulnerable. That is why this university is still here. That is why I am still. I hope you understand 
how much I care about your success. It's so common for work to fade into obscurity after it's published. It would be a shame if yours were denied my full-throated support, especially after so many years. I've spent years working on this. I cannot make your decisions for you, Peter. By all means, publish with Clara as a co-author if you're feeling generous, but if you do, you'll have to take your chances. It would be difficult for me to bring to bear any influence I have. By way of illustration, I have an address in Whitehall to give you. Thank you. Fred, I can't tell you much more now, but he's a good man. Cambridge man. And you may find there's one more reason to leave Clara out of things. I'm sure things will become clear soon. I think you've made things very clear. Well, let me know what you decide. Just knock any time. My door is always open.